All right, thanks, guys. We improved to 13-3 and in our last 16 NBA tier package plays yesterday on patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also 6-1 and in our last seven board member tier package plays on that website. We do daily premium sports picks on that site beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. If you want some more information about that, we have over 1,100 members strong currently signed up and active on that website. And if you want to check out my current record, you can do that for free right now. Link for that website is in the description section below. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. We went two and two on that website yesterday in our four premium picks. So certainly not our best effort, but uh, not disastrous and uh, something we can definitely improve upon. It would be our fourth straight non-losing day. So uh, doing a pretty good job there. Pretty red hot and many different categories. But once again, uh, patreon.com slash Brock Page. A link for that site is in the description section below. All right, guys, we got ourselves a nice slate of college basketball action. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with Michigan taking on the University of Maryland, 12 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Terrapins are the four and a half point favorite total at 139. We are seeing money on Maryland and the over in this one. Half a point move toward the Terrapins, half a point move upward on the total. Maryland open as the four point favorite up to minus four and a half. Total open 138 and a half up to 139. 56% of the consensus are leaning toward Maryland, 61% shaded toward the over. Right now, Michigan is plus a buck 70 on the money line. If you like the Wolverines away from home here, they are scoring 75 points per contest. They're also 8-6 and against the spread away from home this year. They're giving up just 69 points per contest as the official road team. And they're covering 63% of their games that tipped off at the current number. Now, Maryland on the other side, they're just 33% against the spread, taking on teams between 500 and 650. So really struggling against, uh, you know, stronger teams with regard to the number. They've also lost three out of their last four. And they're 0-5 against the spread in their last five straight. They failed to cover the number in seven out of their last nine as well. They failed to cover against the likes of Northwestern, Nebraska, and Rutgers twice during that stretch. They're also shooting just 41% from the field. Now, Maryland is 5-0 to the over in their last five. Four out of Michigan's last six got over the total themselves. I'm going to lean toward the underdog away from home here. Give me Michigan plus four and a half in the over 139. Next game, Memphis, Houston, 12 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Cougars of Houston, they are minus nine, total at 135. Pretty good two-way action on this Uh, spread here not a whole lot of movement there we did see a one point move upward on the total money's on the over in this one so once again houston open and remains minus nine total open 134 up to 135 51 percent are leaning houston 54 percent shaded toward the over right now memphis is plus 375 on the money line now if you like memphis catching nearly double digits it might not be a bad spot for you they are four and one straight up in their last five 70% against the spread in their last 10. Now, Memphis is 70% against the number in their road games this year. They rank in the top three in defensive field goal percentage on the road. We're looking at 36% in that category. They're also holding their opponents to just 25% from downtown when they're on the road as well. Houston on the other side, losers of three out of their last five. They're also just 40% against the spread in their last 10. They're shooting 42% from the field, and they're just 46% against the spread after less than four days off. Now, five out of Houston's last seven did stay under the total. Memphis 80% to the under as the official road team. I'm going to lean Memphis plus nine in the under 135. Next matchup, Nebraska hosting, I'm sorry, Nebraska traveling to Minnesota. 1 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Golden Gophers are minus 15 and a half. Totals at 144 and a hook. We are seeing money on Nebraska and the under in this one. Uh, Minnesota opens 16 down to minus 15 and a half. Total open 145 down to 144 and a hook. 57% are leaning Nebraska, 62% on the under. Right now, the Cornhuskers are plus 1150 on the money line. Now, if you're liking Nebraska in this matchup here, uh, they're currently winless as the official road team. 0-11 0-11 straight up on the road. Uh, losers of their last 15 straight. Nice 15-game losing streak for the Huskers. 
They're shooting just 39% from the field when they travel, and they're just 20% against the spread in their last 10. Now, Minnesota on the other side, 3-1 against the spread in their last four, 10-5 ATS on their home court. They're giving up just 64 points per contest as the official home team, and they're giving up just 39% from the field in that same category. Now, four out of Minnesota's last four games did get over the number. Nebraska 9-5 and five to the over away from home. I'm going to lean Minnesota minus 15.5 and, and the over 144.5 in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick timeout and welcome you to the show. Got some lines of personal leans out for Sunday's college basketball action. Happy Sunday to you. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. Now, before we go ahead and move on, just got to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where once again, we do daily premium sports books on that website, beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We improved to 13-3 and in our last 16 NBA tier package plays yesterday on that site. We're also 6-1 and in our last seven board member tier package plays. And the good news is this, we have another board member tier package play going on off today. Now you might be wondering, you know, why would you buy a package from me when you could just get all the picks for free here on YouTube? And that's certainly a great, uh, you know, a great thought, a great consideration. And you're exactly right. I give you all the games for free here on, the, you know, YouTube. But the problem with that is if you were going to bet every single game on the board side in total with your hard-earned money, uh, it's certainly not a winning formula for success. You're going to end up losing your money in the long run. And as a matter of fact, you're probably going to end up losing your money in the short run. Uh, the books are way too smart. They're way too sharp. The math is certainly uh, aggressively against you the more games you play, especially if you play every game on the slate. So what I do on Patreon, I focus in and narrow it down to just four to five premium picks per day, high percentage picks, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, my current Patreon record is a whole lot better than it is here on YouTube, handicapping every single game on the board. So if you want to check out my current record, you can do that for free. My uh, Patreon record is right on the homepage. All you have to do is click the link in the description section below. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page, where, uh, where we are currently over 1,100 members strong on that site. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. Could not do it without you. And uh, let's just keep growing this thing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on and dive into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got ECU taking on Central Florida's 2 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Knights of Central Florida, they are minus 8.5, total at 137. We are seeing money on UCF and the over this one. Uh, One-point move toward UCF and a one-point move toward the over. UCF opened 7.5, up to minus 8.5. Total open 136, up to 137. 67% are leaning UCF, 62% on the over. Right now, ECU is plus 335 on the money line. Now, if you like ECU in this matchup here, they are 5-2 and two against the spread in their last seven. They're shooting 76% from the stripe on the road as well. Uh, a couple more things to add about the Pirates here. They are 80% against the spread in their games that tipped off at the current number. They're also 61% against, uh, against the spread uh, after four or more days off. They do very, very good against the number under uh, proper rest. Now UCF on the other side, just 4-11 and against the spread in their last 15 at home. They're also just 33% uh, 33% against the number as the official home favorite. They've dropped four out of their last six games, and they're averaging just 68 points per contest. Now UCF is 2-0 to the under in their last two, 60% to the under on their home court. I'm going to lean toward another underdog. Give me ECU plus 8.5. And the under 137. Next game. UConn taking on Tulane. 4 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Huskies of Connecticut. They are the 6.5 point favorite away from home. Total at 141. We are seeing money on UConn and the over in this one. A one point move toward the Huskies. And movement upward on the total. UConn open 5.5 up to minus 6.5. Total open 139 and a hook. Up to 141. Right now, Tulane is plus 250 on the money line. And if you like the green wave in this contest, just keep in mind they've dropped eight out of their last 10 games. They're also just five and eight against the spread as the official home team. They're averaging 68 points per contest and shooting just 40% from the field. They also really, really struggle 
in offensive and defensive rebounding. Uh, they're amongst the worst in college basketball in those two categories, uh, ranking-wise. But anyway, uh, UConn on the other side, winners of their last four straight, 6-3 and three against the spread in their last nine. They're allowing just 66 points per contest and holding their opponents to 41% from the field. They're also 8-0 straight up in their last eight head-to-head matchups with Tulane if you're into historical trends. Now, eight out of Ken, uh, UConn's last nine did get over the total. Meanwhile, Tulane, eight and one to the over in their last nine themselves. I'm going to lean UConn minus six and a half and the over 141 in that game. All right, next matchup, it is going to be Tulsa versus Wichita State. 